the people that wanted the Green New Deal and invaded Senator Dianne Feinstein's office. Uh, they were progressives. They were sent by AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Right. And Senator Dianne Feinstein, prominent Democrat, right, 85-year-old senator from, uh, from California, she even said, oh, I get it, so it's, it's my way of the highway. Yep. I think the progressive left, they really drive it. Where there's, there's, there's no middle ground with them. They are all the way or nothing. You know, you saw it locally uh, as far as Senator Gail Golden talked, but, about, but, the, but, but, hold on, talked about the yeah. abortion bill and said there's no compromise with this in any way. Mm -hmm. So as much as the Tea Party were kind of a fringe on the right, I think what you're seeing with They were kind of. They well, they, are they, 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 they are. They but threw they, out the Speaker of the House who was a Republican. True, but they don't have the power they once had. But I think the progressive left, and in some ways, Joe, uh, cable news does drive it, right? It's, yeah. the, it's the MSNBC audience. It's the Fox News audience. CNN gets somewhere in between. But it's, um, it's not your imagination. I've never seen it so partisan the way it is now. Do you think the country is between the 40 and the 40-yard line? Um, for, for the most part, I do. But okay. if you see where some of the leaders are, I mean, Bernie Sanders right now. Right? But he's, he's not a leader of the Democratic Party. Well, he's, he's, not, he's polling he's number not, two. He's not even a Democrat. He's polling number two in the race for president. Hey, and the Republicans and, had Donald hold, Trump polled number one. Hold on. And he wasn't a Republican. But Bernie Sanders said but, but, no, no, at no, no, Town no. Hall. Hold John, on. Let me just John, get it. John, John, John. You have a talk show? I got a show. <laughs> I I'm asking you the that. But I want to make a good point. No. You're not when you have someone that says the Boston Marathon bomber should be able to vote, and you're polling so number just, two in the party, yes, that's a problem with the Democrat Party, Joe. That is not the party of Joe Palino. That's, that's not the Democratic Party. If he's, you look, He's John, polling number two. John, I'm going to take your mic off for a minute. <laughs> so you're going to listen to me talk ahead, for a minute because I'm ahead. not looking to be combative. All right. But I just, I'm trying to find out the ground on issues. The, um, you had O'Neill and, 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 and Reagan could be able to talk on issues. Correct. You talk about the progressives. You're not all wrong. You amplify it more than it should be, but you're not all wrong. The Tea Party, you try to minimize it, but that's just the same thing on the right. So you have the right, you have the left, they're both kind of wacky, okay. okay? It's in the middle is where I think everybody is. If you look at where Democrats run the Congress, they didn't win it because of some young congresswoman uh, in, in New York. They won it in middle America with moderate candidates. That's how they won the Congress. But Joe, she's so as the voice Richard of the Nixon party would right say now. Years ago, as Richard Nixon would say years ago, that he always said the silent majority yes. was with him. Yes. I believe that the vocal people are the minority of both political parties. Well, but that is why President Trump is sitting in the White House right now, is because he reached that Rust Belt, the middle America. I think the progressives try to shout it down, but that's also why I think President Trump will win re-election because he connects with those people, as you say, between the two 40-yard lines. Well, he, he did in the last election. He did, Joe. And, you know, if you, when I talk to a lot of people, I say, well, I know you don't like Trump, but let's look at the things. You happy with North Korea? Are there people that don't like Trump? <laughs> I say, you happy with North Korea? Yeah. Yes. You happy with the tax cut? Yes. yes. I said, you happy with trade? Yes. yes. You happy with immigration? Right. Yes. I said, so if you take his rhetoric out of that, yes. if you look at some of those policies, there's definitely problems, but he amplifies it and his personality gets the opposition upset and they go wild and they get so <laughs> incensed. And I'm appalled at what's going on. I listen to some of these talk people, you're appalled. Listen to the guy